In the last episode, me and my father arrived at Juvasutta and prepared ourselves to hike Norway's highest mountain, Gallopigin. It's not the toughest hike in the world, but you do need to cross a glacier called Stygebren when walking the route from Juvasutta. And when you cross this particular glacier, it is mandatory with a qualified glacier guide. So here we are, me, my father, and a whole bunch of other hikers ready to start the climb towards Norway's rooftop. forecast for this day seemed promising, but at this very time Gallopigin was still enveloped in fog. But we were pretty sure that the fog would evaporate as the day progressed. But deep inside I was kinda rooting for a small cloud immersion. We have walked for about 50 minutes now and we're approaching the glacier called Stygebren. And the reason for that is because Stug means ugly in Norwegian and it also means dangerous. So it's a dangerous glacier. So that's why we've been giving harnesses and we're gonna have a guide to take us over. So the first leg is out of the way. Mm. Welcome to Stygebren, the dangerous glacier. Yeah. How was it? It was very uh, nice. It was uh, a lot of stones to walk in. So good. I'm very glad I had my good uh, mountain shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and the weather is clearing up, yeah, as, weather. as we hoped and predicted. Yeah, it's uh, uh, some two or three plus degrees, I think. No wind, sun is coming. Perfect to walk. Might get a cloud inversion. Might. 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 But for now, let's just uh, cross this glacier and yeah, uh, enjoy walking in rope. Never done that before. And uh, to the untrained eye, it might look like we're we're walking this alone, but there are ap approximately 100 people around us. Yeah. <laughs> All enjoying trip to Gallhöbigen. <laughs> Well, Stygebren has been uh, crossed and right now we're approximately 200 meters from the top and as further to, towards the top we get, and that's uh, further up, the cloud coverage also gets. So right now we can see the top of Gallopigin for the first time and the timing is just great. What an experience to cross the glacier and this is only the beginning. The icing on the cake is ahead of us. We, we need to get cracking because our, our biggest obstacle right now is, is the time. Because we have one hour to get to the top, then we have 30 minutes at the top and then we need to get down again. Otherwise we don't uh, make the uh, rope team back across the glacier. So we, we need to keep up the pace and with all the filming and all the picture taking it takes time. So we just need to get going.
we're ready for the final 100 meters of Northern Europe's highest mountain. Ooh. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. But it uh, has been a warm uh, climb here. <laughs> yeah, uh, but the weather is perfect. Couldn't be better. There's no wind. No wind whatsoever. Mm. And, uh, and a bit... Some a gorgeous view from where we are, so yeah. I can only imagine the view will be better from yeah, up there. Fantastic. So I think we're ready for the last one. The last leg. Yeah. The hike up Galopegin from Juvasutta isn't the hardest or the longest hike in the world, but for some reason it is a trail that has eluded me and my father for many years. For some reason, it has always seemed so far away, so out of reach, that another adventure has always taken its place when we have discussed it in the past. That's why I could not stop smiling as we got closer and closer to the summit. Because the real kicker for me was that we decided to go for this hike the morning before. No serious planning. We just got in the car, drove across Norway, and just went for it. And one and a half day later, we were there. 2,469 meters above the ocean. Norway's rooftop. It was not out of reach at all. All it took was one adventurous dad inviting me along. We made it, 2,469 meters, Northern Europe's tallest peak. Here we are, how does yeah. it feel? I feel <laughs> it feels very good. <laughs> I'm proud really, of you. Yeah, and I'm proud myself. It was really motivating to see now the top when we came over the ridge here. When it cleared up and you just could see, and, and the view is it just, it's ridiculous. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> here we are standing on the top. And it's practically a tiny breeze. No wind. This is uh, not very often here. You you're, picked a good day. You, you are a lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> we need to grab something to eat because yeah. the train is going down very yeah. soon and we need to start photographing and filming and yeah. we're running out of time. So we're going to talk more later, but mm. once again, congratulations. Thank you. We Thank made you. it. Yeah, we made it. Congratulations <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Well, safely back down again from uh, Gallupin, across the uh, Stigebren, and uh, right now we have Norway's second most tallest mountain in the background, Glitterten, our next destination. Are you ready? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> 
we're heading home. Uh, we decided yesterday at eight o'clock in the morning, and one day later, we're, we're we've been there. Things are moving fast when we first get the gears moving. What are your thoughts now? Is there something called a stomach feeling? I think there is. Uh, I had a, I had this gut feeling. I think. A gut feeling <laughs> yesterday morning. Yeah. I texted you and said, "Are you ready?" What was the answer? Yes. Always follow your gut. Yeah. That's the uh, that's the uh, the words of wisdom at the end. Yeah. Here, here, here at the end of all things. But one thing, uh, half an hour more at the top. We, we, we didn't the get the chance the, to drink the coffee. Stress at the top, yes. Yeah. But it's uh, that was mostly my fault. I, I ran like I ran around like a headless chicken, filming and photographing. We just ten minutes sitting down with a cup of coffee. And I have a full bottle of coffee in my bag, which <laughs> I have carried up and down. Yeah, but uh, that, that's uh, that's what makes that coffee special. So oh. when we have it in the car, we can think this coffee has been. At the top, at the rooftop of Norway, northern Europe's yeah. tallest peak. Mm. That's something. Thanks for the hike and uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.